Are you looking to breathe life into that old machine that is sitting in the corner or maybe in a bottom drawer, not really getting used anymore? Maybe you had an old PC slow to a crawl and you replaced it with a new one, but you got nothing to do with the old one. Chrome OS might be the solution. Now, in our modern world of replacing computers as soon as they get just a couple of years old, we often find that, yes, sometimes it's time to put something out to pasture, but often in the computer world, at least in the IT world, a machine has got a lot of life left in it, but they just kind of get filled up with gunk and, you know, maybe formatting, maybe defragging, maybe changing some of the hardware might help. But often a refresh of an operating system is going to help you to extend the life of an existing computer. Now, Chrome and Chrome OS are, I guess, pretty new on the block when it comes to operating systems. Most people are either using Windows or they're using Mac OS. But Google have recently allowed Chrome, which was previously exclusive to Chrome Books, Chrome Boxes, and the rest of the Chrome OS ecosystem of hardware, well, they've opened it up to be available to anyone to install on any computer they like. Now, this was previously a piece of software called Cloud Ready by Neverware, and it effectively was a kind of a hacked version of Chrome OS that you could install on any computer you like. But Google first invested and then subsequently bought that company and have effectively made this product available for everyone for free. Now, as long as this is for personal use, you have a license and support to be able to effectively install Chrome OS on any computer you like, whether that's an old Mac or an old PC, all you need to do is load up a USB stick plug it in and you can turn it into a Chrome powerhouse. Now, what are some of the advantage of doing that and why would you do that? Well, the thing about Chrome is it's a super lightweight operating system. And so you don't have to run all of the processes and all of the thinking that Mac or Windows would have to run on your hardware. So that makes it particularly advantageous to older computers that maybe don't have all the juice that they once had Computers do fatigue over time, processors get slower, and sometimes physically dust starts to build up in fans on an old computer and they start to slow down. Now, that's not a brand new fact, but one of the ways that you can get things going again is by either reinstalling your existing operating system, but switching to Chrome gives you a special advantage. You see, Chrome OS uses much less resources than Windows or a Mac because it's really only running the Chrome browser and aside from that, a very lightweight operating system. I've got other videos on the channel on getting started with Chrome OS if you're a complete newbie and you know what it looks like and what the differences are. I recommend you check those out. But if you go to install Chrome on a computer, well, what that's gonna do is it's gonna use less resources and therefore make better use of what an older machine has. Okay, so let's say you wanna get started with Chrome. What's that actually gonna look like? Now, you can't just install a application design for Mac or design for a Windows machine like Adobe Photoshop because Chrome is a whole other operating system. You need to run most applications in the web because it's designed to do most of our work online. And thankfully, most things we do nowadays are online. If you wanna use Photoshop, you can use Canva on the web. If you wanna edit videos, there's even online video editing services. But most of our business services, especially in the Google ecosystem, are all based online and you can access them via their browser. But Chrome will also let you do things like connect to obviously Wi-Fi networks, Bluetooth, you can plug in USB sticks and do basic file management, and it also synchronizes with your Google Drive as well. So don't think that Chrome is completely an island. It's a great operating system, but you are limited to the basics. So why would you use a Chrome device then? Well, Chrome is great because it's hyper, hyper secure. It's locked down to your Google account, and most of the operating system is actually completely encrypted. And what that means is that there's much less chance that someone could install spyware or malware on your computer. They're great devices for doing crypto operations because there's just hardly any chance that someone is going to have compromised your device. In the old days, people would buy a Mac because they were less susceptible to viruses, but because they got so popular, there's now plenty of spyware, malware, and viruses that exist for Mac computers. They're still probably a bit more secure than Windows machines overall, but it is still a bit of a challenge. Now, Chrome effectively has become the most secure operating system that you can use alongside Linux, which is what it's based on. So if you're looking for something that's gonna keep you and your family secure, or maybe you want to share this device with someone who's a less savvy internet user, well, Chrome is gonna keep you better protected. Google does not support running Android apps on Chrome OS Flex. And that's one of the cool features of having an official Chromebook or Chrome box is that you get access to all the apps in the Play Store. If you want to use a native-ish version of Microsoft Word, or you can use the Android version on your Chromebook. 
But unfortunately, that's not going to work with Chrome OS Flex. There's also some restrictions on certain kind of processes that it just won't be compatible with. And you want to check the compatibility guides before you get started. Now, speaking of getting started, head along to the Chrome OS website, and that's where you can create a USB installer for Chrome OS Flex. Now, as long as you meet the requirements, you can use any old USB, but do keep in mind it's going to wipe any of the data on that USB drive. So make sure you've got it back up first. If you'd like to get started with Chrome, once you've created your USB, you plug it into your computer and you're gonna to have to work out how to boot into that USB. Now, that's a bit technical and may take some certain keystrokes to get that working. But once that happens and you've booted into Chrome OS, you can take it for a test drive and see what it feels like to work with Chrome. If you choose not to install it at the end of your session, when you shut the machine down, it's not really gonna remember anything, but you'll get an opportunity to use Chrome OS. When you're ready to commit and install it to the actual hard drive of your computer, it's gonna wipe anything that was on the computer previously and make Chrome OS the new operating system. You can then remove the USB and that computer has been Chromified. From there forward, it's gonna boot straight into Chrome when you boot it up and you can use all of the features as if you were on a Chrome device. If you're a business owner, you may choose to use Chrome OS inside your business. That old computer that's five years old and starting to run slow that no one wants to use anymore, may just be able to be given a fresh breath of life with Chrome OS Flex and access all of your Google tools. I love using this for computers that need to be used in a kiosk mode or for someone who just needs to do one or two tasks at a time. Chrome OS is very lightweight, it lasts a long time, gets automatic security updates from Google all the time, and it's just a great way of keeping your machine secure without having to worry about authentication servers or managing antivirus. Chrome is a great way to get connected to the Google ecosystem. Chrome OS Flex has made it free for consumer use and small businesses. If you want to upgrade to an enterprise license, well, there's plenty more features there available for businesses, but we will save that for another video. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.